um, lava river cave. Except due to COVID-19, they're not letting you in the whole cave. They're only letting you do about the first half. See, you could walk over here and then up there and then around. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I'm going on one of these virtual vacations. I'll call it a staycation here. Wow. So look at this. I don't see the back, but that's mostly because it's black. So my flashlight's not lighting it up at all. I definitely want to get up there sometime. But like I said, by myself, I wouldn't want to risk coming down the wrong place and falling, getting myself hurt. The key to being alive is to not get yourself killed. All right, so here we go. What's cool, so look at the walls are white and then on top they're brown. The ceiling's brown. That's all natural, remember. That's not graffiti or any garbage like that. That really is natural. So it's interesting to think about, how is that possible? Why is it white on the walls but not the ceiling? What happened here to make that happen? I'm honestly not sure. Because I'm pretty sure this white stuff, it came through cracks in the ceiling. Or maybe I should say the cracks are actually in the walls. So they bypassed the ceiling. You got to realize that in a rectangular building, the walls and the ceiling are two different things. If you have something art shaped like this, it's kind of ambiguous boundary between the walls and the ceiling because they're really one surface. Wow. I'm glad I did this cave today. Like I said, I haven't done much caving in the past few weeks because it's been so dang hot outside. And plus it's been sunny. So I've been doing some outdoor non-caving stuff. But this week, the forecast, it's seriously going to be like 105 degrees in the Columbia Gorge. So if you think I'm going to go hiking in the Columbia Gorge, you're on crack cocaine. Question is, then what the heck am I going to do this weekend? <laughs> There's only so many caves that are within a short walk of the cars. Most, a lot of good caves around here you got to hike into, but I'm not going to go hiking around in 100 degree weather. So yeah. Jeez. Notice on the right side there's sort of a ledge. Not a very good one that you could walk on, but you know, it's a ledge. It's there, I swear. I have a rig to use both of my flashlight, two flashlights and two cameras at the same time. One is unwieldy. Two, it slows me down because uh, I have to stop twice as often when I'm using two cameras. And three, then um, both flashlights stay below both cameras. The way I'm doing it now, I'm holding my uh, flashlight to one of my flashlights with a separate hand so I can lift it up nice and high so I can better light up the ceiling and stuff. See, look at all this white. Like I said, the rock here is black. That white is mineral deposits. I'm 80% sure. Still heartbroken that there's no bats in here though. Like I said, in the past when this cave was open to the public in the winter, I did come here once a winter so I could look for bats. And that's the problem. I found bats and I told them about it. So now they're like, sorry, you can't go in there in the winter anymore, loser. I agree with them, but I still re reserve the right to complain about it. <laughs> if it was such a hard cave, I would say maybe like once every Saturday on we uh, week winter weekends they could do a guided tour but this cave is just too hard to do a guided tour like I said, if I owned it privately you know run it as a park for profit yeah I would I would definitely remove a lot of the loose rocks that make it hard well one I gate it and I would definitely charge I'd offer guided tours. I'm not sure if I would allow unguided tours or not. Unguided tours are like what I'm doing now. Some people don't cause problems. The majority of people don't cause problems. But you get that one punk in there who thinks it's funny to be too noisy or spray paint something. 
drop a rock down a cliff to see how much noise it makes in the Columbia Gorge it's beautiful and pristine forest then some kid thought it was funny to throw fireworks down a canyon during the summer so yeah the it created a huge forest fire it was so huge it like closed like a railroad and a freeway for several days and the hiking trails were closed for like two years some of them are still closed. So yeah, that kid's lucky the news didn't publish his name. He probably would have been beaten up by a vigilante or something. He was a minor, so I think somebody said he got like one month in detention. If he has any sense of pride at all, I'm sure he's humiliated by that experience. But yeah, I'm not optimistic. Anyway, so here I am on top of a rock again. Wow, it's just so bright in here because there's the white mineral deposits everywhere. Of course, I'm using the term white loosely. Some of it's kind of pale brown or yellow. Look at the color over here. Is that pretty or what? Oops. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit pretty here. It's definitely not the prettiest cave, but... Like I said, it's a start. Try to appreciate what I got rather than whine that it's not good enough. You spend all your time chasing after perfection. You're not going to catch very much. Ow. I got a hangnail. I got like the worst hangnail ever. I have to be careful if I pull on it. It's going to rip my finger clear off pretty much. According to my calculations, it's going to be like two months before it's back to normal. So I'm going to have to be very careful with my finger for the next two months or I'm going to end up screaming like a little baby. Which might be kind of funny. Alright, yeah. So as you can see, I'm on top of another breakdown pile. trying to stay to the right here to go through this cave counterclockwise a couple weeks ago I went through with another camera clockwise let me pan down here so this is an example of when you're going through a cave you should stay to the trail so you see that dirt down there you're probably like ooh dirt but think about it notice there's like only one footprint it's all kind of pristine so that's the way the cave naturally filled up with that dirty sand so it's kind of cool to leave it there so everybody else can see okay this is how a cave naturally behaves so i'm going to go ahead and i'll go over here to the left just so i can avoid that one spot see a lot of people they're used to playing in the sand at the beach and they know whatever mess they make the next high tide is going to erase it so it's no big deal but inside of a cave there's no high tide. Some caves do flood once a year from rain or whatever, snow melts. But a lot of caves is dry sand year round or damp sand year round. So if you make a mess, it might be decades before that mess disappears. Like Lava River Cave, it's got a lot of sand all over the floor. Damp sand is really neat. There are parts of it where they, it made little mounds called the sand cast 